Good morning and welcome to Estdale. Today we're just out at the bottom of Erton Pike. It is, what day is it? Wednesday. Oh. It's Wednesday the 18th of May 2022. And today my Wookie's going to have a, a ratchet boat. The weather's decent, apart from the wind. wind. We're going to go up to Erton Pike, have a look, and then further along potentially where to? Ilgiled, I think. Yeah, I will say I. I've been to Ilgiled before a couple of years ago. But, uh, it's quite, it'll be breezy on top, there's no doubt about it. But as long as this sun's out, it's good. Anyhow, I've waffled on, so let's crack on. So we've only walked uh, 0.37 of a mile and 160 feet of elevation. We've come to this, so it's a decent view to start with. It's uh, unfortunately a bit hazy over on the seaside, so we can't see Isle of Man today as yet. It might open up later, who knows. But, uh, in the cellar field. In the distance. In the radioactive cow. <laughs> and that's Santon Bridge down there. And there's the campsite. If you want to go campsite, you're going to need a mortgage. 35 pun for two people. Needless to say, I won't be going. Now this is the top of Burton Pike. Very windy. Here. Very windy. If you look around, Moncaster Fell. It's a good view, like. But we've come up a silly way through some bushes and trees rather than this way. We've come up from over there. It's a bit of a wild goose chase. Some of the trees have been knocked down, so it's a lot harder to get up. But we've only got ourselves to play. Could have done the easy way. Very true. So we'll go back down here now. See where this path leads to. Oops! Now it doesn't look very clever for a wild camp up here. There's not much uh, shelter, to say the least. Just down there, but it's not really, yeah, won't be camping here. So we came through um, this tree line. There's a sty there with a bunch of trees from Merton Pike. Just following the map now, the US maps. I seem to have got a a path going in this direction. So we've got a wind rig up here and then it'll get led on the top somewhere further up. But yeah, you look over there, down at the Wasdale Led area, at the end, the Great Gable stands out majestically once more. But uh, it's not as windy at this level at the moment. No doubt, as further up we go, it will be a bit on the breezy side. And so I've been walking for a couple of hours now, more or less. I've been out for a couple of hours. It does feel like five, to be honest. That's wind rig there, so that's our target. The uh, wind's getting up. But just before that, it was quite boggy, so we took our time getting through the sludge on the path and that, and having to walk around to avoid getting wet. So it's been a bit of a sludge fest. Penny's managed to get herself caked up, of course. Hey, Pen. No, we haven't fell over. Okay, see the path in front of us, so let's get on with it. Well, this is a summit of Winrig. That isn't the summit of Winrig, that's a long back. A bit breezy up here, which was to be expected, but it's a bit sheltered down below. Some cracking views. So in front of us there is Never Wasdale, that's one of my favourite camping places. Because you've got the strands and the Scrace pubs and they do absolutely brilliant ales and the food's not too bad either and the campsite's excellent as well with a farm shop. As you pan round, Moncaster Fell, you can see all the estuary and further out after Raven Glass and right down by Black Coo. Arta fell over there, and then you're getting towards like the Coniston fells in the distance. Hard nut over there. And obviously that big bugger is Scarfell. And behind a bit Scarfell Pike. We'll get up Scarfell one day, it's just gonna be a slog. This summer, not with all them tourists about. 
somebody seen it. Well, this is the other part of Wind Rig. We're over here, that's the highest point. This is a shelter, but it's not much of a shelter in this wind. Great views down here. Big drop. And just the very edge there, there's a start of wash water down the bottom. Cracking views. Absolutely cracking. So we're going to go up to Hill Gillard now. We haven't done it before, so it shouldn't take us too long. But we've got this wind to contend with. Let's crack on. So here's a, here's a better view of wash water from up here. This is that wind howling through. And uh, the viewpoint's down here, I'm trying to pick it up with the camera, but I can see it down in there, yeah. Britain's best view. It's voted by ITV viewers and you know, piece of information. <laughs> So we've got the screes down here now. Mosdale screes. Right, let's get down lower. It's a bit cold in this wind. Well, oh, back at Hill Gillhead. This is first time for Wookie. So, well done, Manor. Still very, very breezy up here. But at least it's clear. The Scarfells, obviously, you can see them. Lingmel. Right, uh, right round the range today, like. And then back out west. Visibility's pretty good up here. Just a shame it's too easy to see out, far out to sea. Not too bad. I was expecting it to be a bit more hooly up here, but it's not too bad. But that could be famous last words. As soon as I said that, the wind gets up. So Penny's done really well today. She's 14 in two months' time. But she's showing no signs of stopping. Unless it's fitness. Martin's obviously having his uh, day off, retiring from these big bells. But you'll see him in a video every now and again. As long as he stays out. Just looking down on the screes here from Hill Gillhead, just on the edge. I wouldn't fancy falling down here, Christ all bloody mighty. It's a fair drop down there. So people walk around the edge here, and I've always wondered how much is on this side you can actually walk. Walk on this. But you hear people getting rescued, they get crag fast and stuff. On our way back now, but we stop for another little break and we've got some Nile friends with us. We stopped in the same spot as earlier. <laughs> Penny did need a bit of wrap, but uh, the wrap's now gone. I was there, these sheep have uh, been munching away before we got here. They don't seem too bothered that we're sitting here actually. Hello, Mr. Sheep, Mrs. Sheep. Hi to Mrs. Lovely Erdwicks. Uh, Penny's seeing them now, but she's on the lead. Well, that's just back down in the car park, Hurton Pike car park. The smaller one, the better one is down there. We managed to come through the woods in the end and take a shortcut. But you had nine miles on your driver. I've just had it under nine miles. Nine it was just the way we've been dallying about. Avoiding all the sludge and muck. So, yeah, 
that's probably why. Anyway, that's it for now. That's another walking finally. It's nice to be able to get out and have a good wander about and actually make a video. Hopefully it's alright and you've all enjoyed it. So without further ado, that's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Wookie. Ta-da. And goodbye from a mucky penny. <laughs> who's going to bath as soon as she gets back.